Hey, Shelby, John England here. Kelly and I own Elevate Digital Marketing. And in this video, I'm going to show you three things that you can do today to help bring in more patients to your clinic. And you're likely sitting there and asking, why would I be doing this and what's in it for me? Well, uh, luckily, I can read minds a little bit. And uh, oftentimes in the world of the internet, most local business owners or doctors who are starting their own private practice are too busy running their businesses and private practices to learn how the internet can benefit them and their company. And sometimes the only hesitation they have when hiring someone is they don't know who is an expert and who is not. So by giving you this free game plan of actual things that you can do to impact your clinic for free, I'm hoping that you will say, hey, John, I like you. Please do this for me. So if by the end of the video you've liked what you've heard and you can see that I have a lot of tricks up my sleeve and that can help your uh, clinic, uh, and if that can help your clinic, sorry, uh, then shoot me a message back and uh, we can chat. So, uh, or if at the end of the video you simply want to take this action plan and do it yourself, that totally works for me too. So uh, let me show you some things that you can do right now to help your clinic uh, go above and beyond the competition and not waste any more of your time. So um, very first thing, uh, looking at your website, I love that you have right here the ability to schedule an appointment. Um, that is a very main thing. I mean, that's the whole purpose of your website is to make sure that people can uh, schedule an appointment. And uh, the, the truth is, is a lot of businesses, when they create their website, they don't really think much about how good it actually is and they just kind of write stuff up there and, and kind of let it go. And uh, if you look here at like Ogden's Cl Ogden, Ogden Clinic, um, you can see very prominently book an appointment, very first thing you see right at the top of the page. And that's a really important thing because when you have patients come to your main website, we call that the landing page, you want them to start booking appointments with you. So... Um, because this is easier, more patients are going to start booking them here. And I actually pulled up a local doctor as well um, that was ranking well. And um, you can even see right here that they have this other uh, button right here, schedule an appointment. And that makes it a lot easier for them to get new patients coming in and uh, keep that maintaining. So uh, I noticed that uh, in Google that doctors in Ogden and healthcare in Ogden are getting searched about 30 times a month. Uh, so that means that you can be missing out on um, some patients uh, by not being number one and by not having a great uh, landing page to convert them into patients. Um, so now if we uh, look at the search results for uh, doctors in Ogden, uh, let's see, I come right here, doctors in Ogden, we can see right up here at the very top, we have an ad that is being run on Google by uh, Intermountain, right? And so um, you can leapfrog by, by having a really high performing ad, you can leapfrog over some of the other doctors in the area and get a lot more of those uh, people who are looking for a new doctor to click on your website and then start booking appointments with you and scheduling with you. So uh, it's basically like cutting in line. So. Uh, but in order to do that, you really have to have a web page that is really dialed in to incentivize them either making a phone call or scheduling an appointment right then and there. So that's the first part that will set you apart, making sure more people that land on your website decide to actually call you than they do the other doctors in the area. The next step is how do you get more visitors to your website? Um, there's really two ways. Uh, number one, you can invest in a long term in a strategy to force the website to be in the number one spot. So again, you come here. This is the map pack, and we'll get to that in a little bit. But down here, this is the organic search. And you can see Ogden Clinic is number one right there. And so um, to get to this number one spot, you have to uh, work on the keywords on your website. And you've probably heard of this. It's called SEO or search engine optimization. The second thing you can do is a short slash medium term strategy to just run ads to your website and make people call you. Um, number two is nice because it means you could have, you know, people calling your clinic tomorrow if you really wanted to. And so for a business like yours, I recommend a little bit of each. So for your clinic, just to make sure that you're growing and that you can be successful in your private practice. So uh, let's go through what to do. 
Step one, uh, going back up here to the map pack, this is, uh, we wanna make sure we're optimized for that. Um, you want to be in the top three spots there, and there are ways to do that. So I'm actually gonna come back here and show you Brigham City where you're at. And uh, I laughed a little bit because uh, Dr. Taylor, I believe this was my doctor when I was like 14. So I'm pretty sure he's retired a long time ago, and yet he's still number two in the map pack showing up. So interesting thing. Um, but you're probably wondering how, how does, how did Dr. Taylor get here and stay here, even though he's no longer practicing medicine? Um, well, there is, and let me pull up here. This is a, a program called White Spark. And what it does is it shows you what are called citations or the number of directories that you are in. And uh, this costs about 40 to 70 bu bucks a month, depending on which plan you go with. And you can see that uh, Ogden Clinic only has 13 citations. And even if you go to uh, the main, uh, to this doctor here, Grace O'Brien, you can see that she has 29 citations. That's a very beatable area where we can get you more citations and therefore get you higher up in the map pack when it comes to doctors uh, in either Brigham City or in Ogden. So you could start doing that right now um, for Brigham City. So um, the, uh, the main thing to do when you're putting in these citations is you want to make sure that your name, address, and phone number are, uh, are absolutely correct and dialed in and that they're the same across all of these, uh, these directories. So you could be in directories like uh, yeah, the yellow book or white book or on Facebook and make sure that all those are dialed in. But you could also go to um, each of the uh, uh, insurance companies has a spot where there are doctors there. And so if we can find a way to have you be on their directories with your, again, name, address and phone number, the exact same across their um, insurance directory, that will, again, put, give you a little bit more power and be able to put you up here to the top of the uh, this map pack so that people are seeing you first when they pull up Ogden, the Ogden area there. Um, step two would be to do Google and Facebook ads. Um, and this is really where the money faucet gets turned on uh, for new private practices like yours. And uh, we can see up here, again, up at the top that um, that uh, Intermountain is running ads just uh, like yours. And that's just to make sure that their phone rings. So um, that's the whole point of it. So the thing is, um, they aren't really doing a great job of it. And so uh, you could definitely beat them. You could beat them with the ads. Um, and Google ads are great because people are literally searching for the for doctors in Ogden. And so if you're right there at the top, and we hop over uh, everybody uh, in the area, um, then then they're going to click on your link there. So um, the other area you can turn to is Facebook ads. And the thing that Facebook ads do uh, is uh, what they do is they bring more awareness. Okay, most businesses just get in there and throw some random ad saying, hey, look at me, but they don't do a good job of really convincing someone to call you. And that's what you have to do. You have to bring people, bring them on awareness, you know, let them know what's unique about your clinic versus, you know, an Ogden clinic or an Intermountain clinic um, and, and doing those things. So um, and we can look at, you know, I, I we're looking at this one and this one's for hearing aids. Um, it's the only doctor Facebook ads I'm really seeing in the area. Um, but you can tell like, you know, the the picture looks dated, you know. It's not really like it's just saying, hey, look at me. I have a, this. I'm a doctor and have all these things. You really want to like do some things that are going to bring people of interest to your clinic. That's what you really want to do with an advertisement like that. And actually, if you come down to like Mountain Lion or Mountain Medical, they have a couple of, of really good um, ads here that, uh, you know, they use really good graphics to to bring people in and have them click on their ad. So um, we can uh, even use some of the premium paid tools um, that cost around 50 bucks a month. Uh, and it lets, uh, lets us literally see every ad in the city and exactly what keywords they're using and how well they're doing. Um, 
So this is just another opportunity, again, to get people aware of your clinic, because once they're aware of their clinic, then when they need a new doctor or they need a doctor and they're looking for something new, they know, oh, hey, what was that clinic? Oh, yeah, it was um, it was uh, Lewis Peak Clinic, right? And so uh, making sure that all of those things are there. So uh, if you think about it, Google and Facebook are just businesses, are businesses. And I know you don't want to think about your clinic as a business, but really it is. You need business to come in, right? It's not that you're necessarily trying to force people to buy more things from you. And I get that, but you do need to make sure people are aware of you and, and you got to run that aspect of it like a business. Um, and, uh, but if you do it the right way, you want your customers will know that you care about them. And that's the important thing. And you can do that with good ads and good landing page. And it makes it easy to kind of convert uh, in that way. So in closing, once again, what we went over, you want to make sure that your homepage is really dialed in. Okay, you want to make sure that uh, you aim for about 15 to 20% rate of visitor to phone calls. So looking at your, you know, you can look at your Google Analytics and see that um, your map pack. Um, you really need to get probably like 50 to 75 citations or directories so you can beat out the competition and be the very first doctor that shows up here. And then third, you want Google and Facebook ads and you want to skip the line and start print, uh, bringing customers uh, coming to your clinic with better ads than you know, what Ogden Clinic's doing or other people are doing. So, and if you implement these strategies today, you can start bringing in a lot more patients to your practice. So you're probably wondering, well, what now? So what you can do is you can either go with this information that I provide you today and do this all on your own. And I'm totally cool with that. However, if you want the most effective route and want to save yourself some time, you can give me a call at 801-920-7931. Again, you know I'm John because I'm one of your patients, and uh, you can give me a call, 801-920-7931, and uh, I look forward to hearing from you, Shelby. Have a great one.